Hi, today I'm reviewing the Mellison M7 radio, FM, AM, and MP3. I received this radio from my brother, who uh, is in radio manufacturing. He got this unit, I believe, from China. If you look um, side here, you've got your on-off switch, SD card, of course your volume and tuning knobs. Um, this is the USB charge port. It uses a standard USB cable. Um, I believe this is the mini cable, not the micro, but I um, can't remember the terminology on those. But um, if you got one of those laying around, just plug the other end into USB port, charge it um, overnight, and you get quite a bit of time out of it. I'd estimate that 20 minutes of usage a day, I probably can get two or three months out of one charge in the battery. So it holds a charge pretty well. Also have the headphone jack and the auxiliary in. Turn it to the back of the unit. The battery appears to be proprietary, um, perhaps maybe a standard cell phone battery. I'm not sure I haven't looked into it, um, but battery does a great job. Again, holds a charge well, plays for a long time at a, a decent volume. So I've been very pleased with that. All right, turning it over. Turning on the radio. Simple as flipping the switch here. Right now I have it turned weekend to weekend and holiday hours is at moma.org slash Matisse. Wait, oh yes, wait a minute. On the next Fresh Air, the Beatles on air live at the BBC, Volume 2. We talk with Kevin Howlett, the album's executive producer. It collects recordings. Direct digital tuning. Also has AM. What I like about the AM is that it really pulls in the signal well. A lot of AM radios have issues. Not the super stores that sell lawnmowers. Tenor with appliances in J-Town or Tenor with appliances. Here's a station I usually have trouble with. It comes in pretty clearly. Pre-owned warranties. It's all the way up. Minimal distortion. Also has this rotary uh, tuner, which is kind of handy, but not really. Or you can do a digital seek. There are your presets, which you can preset different stations. Also has the, uh, if you push the SD card in, it comes an MP3 player. So let me go to that mode. Maybe. This is you. Okay, well, not going to work. Let's try again. Turn it off and on. Ah. Helps if you push the card all the way in. There we go. Maybe not. As you can see, it's a little stiff. There we go. All right, let's turn it off and on again. So if you just drop a, some songs you want on the SD card, it will play them for you. It's a really, really um, rudimentary interface. And one thing I do not like about the radio is that it comes on automatically when you're um, when you're using it. So if you push this SD card in, that's actually why I had it out. It um, push back out again. Anyway, it. Uh, will immediately start playing. So if you want to go to FM or AM, you have to uh, manually change those. Uh, also has a pre-lit screen, or I'm sorry, the screen that lights up when you come up the sensor here, I'll show you. So it's useful if you're using it in a darkened room. Um, the antenna extends pretty far. But uh, I like the fact that it is compact and stays in the unit. And honestly, with it just up that much, I can get uh, most of the stations I want to listen to here locally. I do live in town, but kind of out of the, uh, maybe about 10, 15 miles from most of the signal or the uh, transmitters in town. So anyway, that's, a, again, an overview of the Mellison M7.